started off with a bang with the film Megan, which was released January 6th, 2023 from director Gerard Johnstone. It starred Allison Williams and Violet McGraw. Not a scary horror film, but at this point it takes a lot to scare me, but fun super fun. The film begins with this satirical commercial that's really engaging. Then we go on to find out that um, the story is about Allison Williams plays a woman named Gemma, who is now in care of her niece, Katie. And Katie's parents died in a horrific car accident, right? Parents have to die in car accidents for some reason. There's no other means of death for parents. But Katie's parents die in a car accident, and now she has gone to live with Gemma. They really have a little bit of a struggle developing a relationship. Gemma doesn't feel very maternal. And obviously, Katie's going through a lot of grief and not really looking for it. She just kind of is isolating and and going within herself. But Gemma is a robot technology engineer. And Katie has become interested in some of her former, you know, experiments that she was doing. She was developing robots. And because Katie's so interested, Gemma continues a secret mission of developing a robotic child named Megan to be a playmate for Katie. So this movie hits many contemporary chords. The AI fear that was really still very strong in January of 2023, people were very concerned about AI and how it was going to impact the way we communicate with each other, the way we work. <clears throat> um, it also addresses the issue of screen time for children, which has become very controversial. We see many children from a very young age being handed iPads and cell phones and things to occupy their time to entertain them as opposed to having them engage with people. And then also in COVID, we have a generation of young people who were kept behind socially because they were isolated. They weren't capable of socializing in person or learning how to socialize in person. And their socialization was only through Skype and Teams and Zoom. So Megan really has a lot of contemporary issues and addresses them very well. My favorite aspect of Megan, though, is that I see it as a modern day Frankenstein story. So Gemma is the scientist, is Frankenstein. And whereas in Frankenstein, the scientist abandons the creature and we see a lot of parental child connections between the scientist and the monster and that abandonment. What's interesting about Megan is that the creature was actually created to form a parent-child bond. And that becomes super interesting. And then Megan, the creature, just like the Frankenstein monster, doesn't really kill because she's evil. And Frankenstein, the monster kills because he's lonely, because he's seeking revenge, but he's not bad and he doesn't start out bad. He just realizes that everybody thinks he's bad because he's so ugly and he might as well go with it. And then Megan, the monster, um, doesn't really start out bad either. And her killing spree, for lack of a better word, is mostly she's acting as a vigilante. She's trying to protect Katie, and that's an interesting spin on the film. So Megan, again, it's not terribly scary. It's not something that you really have to put a lot of intellectual thought into, but it's definitely a fun movie. Um, The rated version is sort of played down a little bit for adolescent audiences. It would be appropriate for them. And that makes it even a little bit more fun. So I do recommend Megan. It was a fun watch and I am looking forward to the sequel. Today's sidebar is a shameful confession. I am a bit obsessed with the Duggars and I won't go into why because it really is not appropriate for a sidebar.
But as I watched Megan, I couldn't help but note the physical similarities between the doll and between Jessa Duggar Seawald. Jessa Duggar is the third daughter or fifth child of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar. Jessa is married to Benjamin Seawald, who at one point aspired to be a Christian rapper. Let's take a moment and look at his art. Anybody here believe it? My point is, if they could program a doll to sing, say, rap that, I would turn over my entire bank account to have that doll in my home.